Mark Selby sitting pretty here in Daqing. He leads 8-1 after the first session of the International Championship final. He needs two more frames to become champion. Ding Junhui needs the mother and father, and probably grandmother and father, have all come back. You never know, Joe, but uh, <laughs> it's a tall order. It certainly is. <clears throat> I mean, I remember Dennis Taylor being 8 0 down to Steve Davis, but that was over a lot more frames. But being so far in front carries its own pressure. You know, he's fully expected to win now, Mark Selby, and probably will. But he expects it, everybody expects it. And sometimes we don't always get what we want. Well, things just got to try and apply pressure early on, and I suppose a mini victory will be ta to take it to the interval. Yeah. Just make Selby think a little bit. Yes, it'd, been, it'd need to be 3 1, of course, or 4 0. There is that uh, score line. Coming in, the head to head between them, 11 each, which pointed to close encounter but uh, as I say Selby just got going early on he's looked very relaxed during this tournament had that one scare against Liang Wenbo in the last 16 that went to a decider I had a message from Dominic Dale reminding me that uh, Dominic in Bucharest put a new tip on for Selby after Selby had beaten him by the way but sadly he's not on commission <laughs> he should have been shouldn't he to remember that, Dominic. I think Mark paid him 20 quid to do it. <laughs> I've got a feeling that Ding will possibly go for everything and hope that they start going in and he can really apply pressure then to Selby. Well, that's the first one that's gone in. Good pot. Knew he was leaving balls if he'd missed that. But he's going to have to play a, a good blue here to keep the break going. And again, he's going to be leaving balls on if he misses it. Yeah, nicely played. His highest break in the match, Ding, just 47. Which uh, is one of the reasons he finds himself in such a perilous position, but he's in here early on in this final session. Seven. Yeah, with two good pots. He needs to go on a real run of frames. Don't think he can do it by playing safe. I think he's got to have a go. Certainly did that with his first two shots. Twelve. Get in applause even for easy shots. Now I might screw this red in. 20. Come off the, the reds, try and open them up. Oh, I didn't get any power in the cue ball at all. And that's end of break. Now that had to be really hard shot, played at pace. Extended spider. Well, this is a lot more riskier. He could leave a red on to the left centre. He's hit it well, though.
So I'll be trying to stay positive. Tough red to the middle. Another half chance for Ding Jun Wing. Excellent yeah. pot. Another very good pot from Ding. Second chance in this frame. Just over on a touch with Five. position. The red next to the black, just to the left of the black, could be a good red to play for. That would lead him to an easy black. Not only this time, but every chance of playing for it next time. Could play for the red to the left of the pink, but that's not Whoa. as easy to get to the black from. Nicely played. And maybe a little cannon to those three reds just above the black, uh, above the red. And develop something. I'm surprised he didn't play that shot, but it's okay because he's still got that red to the left of the pink. Ding's actually got a really good record in finals. He's uh, appearing in his 16th ranking final. He's only lost four, won 12. Whereas uh, Mark Selby. Doesn't have quite as good a record. This is uh, 18th final, <coughs> looking for his ninth title. Just overrun a little there with this position. May have to play a cannon into the reds now to try and hold the cue ball. And it's not a gimme this black. Red above the black, the second red up, if he could. Nicely played. Left himself on this red to the left corner. 33. Sometimes when a player is so far behind, it tends to relax a little and the other one tightens up. Although Mark Selby is made of different stuff. World number one. And world champion. And a chance for Mark Selby. Nothing safe. That was a surprising miss from Ding Junhui. Well, it would compound the misery, I think, if we were to lose from 54 nil up in this frame, but that's uh, certainly a possibility. Well, at this level, David, I think I'd rather be at the table now, 54 points behind, or well, 46 hey. now. With all the reds nicely spread like that. And play still be favourite now. Nice. Long way to go, I know, but he's so reliable in these type of situations. Well, he was 2-0 uh, down early on yesterday to Stuart Bingham, 1-9-3. So he's won 17 of the last 19 frames he's played in this tournament. This is a player who often gets involved in matches that go close. He often has to make comebacks, but 
It's been something of a procession. I thought yesterday he looked really relaxed right from the start against Bingham, even though he didn't make much impact, as I say, on the first two. He decided to really play well later on in the contest. 70. Nice angle on the green to play for that red directly above the black. And the one to the left corner will go. That's even better. 20. 34 points behind now. Oh, it looks tight, that, doesn't it? 21. It's in. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Left a nice angle on the pink to play just above the middle pocket, maybe. Play onto the yellow. Could have screwed directly up the table. Could have made contact with the blue or brown. But this is a little straighter than you would have liked. Four Plenty four. of action on the cue ball there. That was a terrific pullback. Well, the last five colours are on their spots. And as I say, this compounds the misery for Ding. And he's had a good chance, a really good chance to win this frame. 47. Yes, it was an easy ready missed. For Ding Jun Wee it was anyway, he was slightly hampered playing over the reds. Fully expected him to get it. In fact I thought the red was in. Ooh, that's gone a little oh, close. What has he done here? Wow. I over screwed that by a mile. <laughs> and he still needs the pink. Yeah. How's it not gone in? 56. Just the pink needed. Well, it's a bit of a Halloween horror show, isn't it, for Ding Jun Wee? Mark Selby dishes. And even though he just left himself slightly awkward there, he kind of fancied he was going to knock it in, and he did. So a good 62 from Selby. He's only one away from winning this tournament. He leads 9-1. Mark Selby relentless there, 62 clearance to the pink. 9-1, he needs one more to become champion. And make this a very short evening for this audience here in Da Ching. Well, just knocking him in for fun. Great shot again from Selby, nicely on the black. Absolutely, great stun run through. And left the cue ball very nice. And the red above the black and to the left, the second red up, would be a nice red to play the cannon to. Couldn't have played it better. Eight. Nine. 
16. 70. Nice finish with the maximum. <laughs> yes, it would, wouldn't it? <laughs> Cap a, a great day. A great week for Mark Selby. 25. A modern great, make no mistake. 25. Let's open the reds a little more. Staying on the red now, we'll find out if he's thinking of the maximum because he drops the white ball in it won't be ideal on the black and could play up for the blue easy enough he's thinking of the maximum he's under hit it by some distance but I think at this stage he could afford to play this thin cut to the right corner. Maybe a shot he wouldn't play if he wasn't 9-1 up. Nicely played and the reds bounced off the cushion and this is looking good. He made the 100th 147 break at the UK Championship three years ago. Oh, he's under hit that one. And I don't think he can get to the black from this red. 48. So maybe just time to think about frame and match. Can he get there? Don't think so. No, frame and match he's going for. <laughs> well, John Higgins and Hugh C will be happy because they're both on 145. And he can still do that. True. <laughs> Maybe they won't be happy then. Three. Black and one more red, and Ding Jun Wee needs snookers. I don't think anyone expected this, this score line. Now they could be safe. Can't get the 145 now. No, but the title's his. Another great achievement. For Mark Selby, one of his best considering the opposition. You know, to beat Ding Junhui 10 1 in a final is seriously impressive. Seventy seven. Oh, kiss of kick. Shouldn't matter though, he'd like to finish with a century. He may still but needs this pink to go in. It isn't in, but Mark Selby's done enough, surely. Ding Jun Wee comes forward to offer his hand. 10-1, an extraordinary scoreline. What a great achievement by Mark Selby. He kills the final off in about 20 minutes in this last session. Ding Jun Wee, who beat him in Shanghai, just couldn't get stuck in early on, and Mark Selby grew in confidence as the match went on. He finishes with a break of 78. He wins his ninth world ranking title and he wins the 2016 International Championship and £125,000 first prize.
probably take him longer to sign all those autographs than it did to actually win in this session. 10-1, I think that's a, a real surprise scoreline 